Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and welcome to a special little collection update on Vinyl, Vinyl, Vinyl. Today we're going to be blasting Ohio's regurgitation, tales of necrophilia, Hell's Headbangers. So fucking good. If you're a fan of early Cannibal Corpse, Broken Hope, you need to get this in your life. Sickening Midwest death metal. So fucking good. I love this stuff. Hell's Headbangers did a great job on this reissue as well. And grab it before it is gone. And next up, I have two treats for you. One. Give you a little hint. Cerebral Rot. And this is... The odious descent into decay. Fucking yes. Look at these fucking demons. I love that promo photo so goddamn much. And oddly, this arrived on my dad's birthday. Rest in peace, but there was a little quote down here dedicated to the deceased. As the darkness consumes, you shall be revered eternally. I thought that was kind of neat, you know, but I cannot wait to throw this on. Seriously, it's going to be fucking so sick. You have Kyle, Ian, Zach, and Drew. Oh, it's gonna be nasty. Logo by uh, Necromagarap. Art by Karina Manzan. And this was mastered by Dan Lowndes at Renaissance Sound Studio in October 2018. Fucking sickening artwork here. It's absolutely great. And I noticed on here we have some songs from the 7 inch re recorded. Primordial Soup of Radioactive Sewage. Let's check out the actual color variant. I don't even remember what color this is, but. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Want to talk about matching up with the cover art. Holy shit. This is awesome. Fucking A. I guess they switched to Pirates Press, but they did a fucking bang up job on this. I'm not sure, but... Fuck yeah. This is super, super sick. Very, very stoked to spin this. Nine tracks of just fucking filthy, filthy death metal. And the layout and design is by Dan Fried, so maybe we'll have some of his electronic expertise on here as we did with the Fetid release. Awesome stuff, and we went back to the old limited color vinyl sticker. Which put a smile on my face. 20 bucks spin records and parasitic records has their own variant, which might be sold out by now, but it's worth a shot. And here is your gift. Thank you. We know you made a conscious effort to buy this physical piece of art. Thank you, John Randall. And we appreciate it. For your convenience, we have provided the code below, which can be redeemed for a free, high-quality digital download of this album's tracks at the Gilad Media Bandcamp page. Yellow Eyes, Rare Field Ceiling. Enjoy. Press pause, snag that download code. You have one chance to do this, so do it.
because this beast right here, holy shit. This is right up there with the new false album when it comes to just high quality US black metal. Six tracks of just absolutely insane US black metal. This is just plain black vinyl. I'm just glad to have scored a copy of this because John and I waited a little bit and we pretty much got like the last, I think they were down to like 20 copies and we got lucky and snagged the black version. And like I said, I am just so stoked to even have a copy of this. But herein lies a tiny, tiny problem and has nothing to do with the record labels. Which is the funny part. This came from Wisconsin. And it left Wisconsin on the 7th of August. Now, the USPS notoriously sucks from Pittsburgh to Philadelphia. For fuck's sakes, both of these records arrived in Philly yesterday, left Philly, and I'm like, oh fuck, they're gonna arrive yesterday. Then they went back to Philadelphia. It made zero sense, and oddly, this ship from Pittsburgh, which is five hours away, on the 7th of August, or it might have been the 8th. It's one of the two. So, I don't understand how a five hour drive, and this is the Pittsburgh and Philadelphia hubs from the USPS. This happens all the fucking time. For some reason, you would think it would get here faster than most places. This arrived at my buddy's house in Jacksonville the same amount of time that it took to go five hours from Pittsburgh to Philadelphia. Now for the USPS, you should be fucking embarrassed. If I was an employee that, you know, was high up and I got a phone call just wondering, you know, why my informed mail said a package from China was delivered three towns away. You give me this gnarly case number and stuff and all these people's phone numbers to call only to find out that, oops, your zip code just looked like the zip code that was going to the person that ordered this package from China. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Get your shit together. But this is what they told me. We deal in addresses, not with people. Fuck you too, United States Postal Service. But I can't wait to listen to these two bad boys. So hopefully you get to snag this Yellow Eyes download code. And hopefully you snag both of these releases because... From what I've heard of this analog atrocity right here, yes, this was recorded on analog. Fucking A, I can't wait to spin this. And I love Yellow Eyes. After seeing them live last year, I was just completely crushed and captivated. So this is gonna be a fucking journey. And I took a sneak peek digitally here. And I did not know that some of the songs from the 7-inch were re-recorded. So get to re-experience those as well. Super stoked here. Yellow Eyes and Cerebral Rot. Fuck yes.
And don't forget to grab the Rare Field Ceilings download code from Yellow Eyes, thanks to Gilad Media. And uh, Odious Descent into Decay by Cerebral Rock. 20 bucks spin records and parasitic. I think Head Split will probably have the cassette and uh, Extremely Rotten will probably do the European one, but I am not sure. 20 bucks spin might have handled the cassette themselves. I love the artwork here. I cannot get over how fucking sick it is. Fucking hails Cerebral Rot and hails the yellow eyes and thank you John Randall for making this fucking possible and we were blasting the mighty regurgitation Tales of Necrophilia Hell's Headbangers reissue first time on vinyl so fucking good and as always thanks for watching you fucking rule get that download code and yeah like I said Thanks for watching. Hey.